What's going on YouTube? Dwan Beyond here bringing you another video. So today we're going to be focusing on the tricep building that nice horseshoe shape. The triceps take up three quarters of the arm and the biceps only take up a quarter. So Let's get started. Starting off with the tricep workout, right? To get these babies going, a common, common exercise, right? Nice, easy, lightest weight. You could do it standing or sitting, and you could do it either single-handedly, or you could go double if you go a bit heavier. The only difference I find when doing double-handed and single-handed, right? Especially, say for example, with uh, biceps, I notice it a lot. But even with the triceps, right, when you're doing two hands at the same time, you're expending a lot more energy in a sense. I mean, it's not good or bad, it's just how you feel, right? I find that sometimes single-handedly I can pump out maybe a few more reps. Because I'm actually doing two hands at once, my body's requiring me energy to contract two muscles at the same time. So then you know, I'll fatigue much later. So then it might not be an actual muscle fatigue. If you're trying to save on time, you're trying to keep your workout limit, then you know, by all means do two at the same time. You know, but then if you do one at a time, you could essentially, by the time you work one, you can do the other one. And then by the time you get back to this one, it should have rested enough, you know, or you can rest a little bit more, you know, up to you. And there's different variations. So you can sort of, you can go really straight, keep your arms straight. It's more of like a, similar to a skull crusher, but it's like sitting up, right? Essentially going back down, right? Extending it as long as you can. And then all the way back up. And that's one way to start working the triceps. Now, another common exercise that you could do with a barbell if you had access to one, but for the purpose of this video, I'm sticking with a dumbbell, right? The dumbbell variation is really the skull crushes. Now, usually if you have access to a bench, this one requires a bit of a bench, right? So you could either do them and put it straight to your chest you know, you could either do it that way, or what I like to do, move up a bit above the bench. And then from there, right? So you just, just the point where you're doing that, right? That's that full range of motion. You're extending the tricep and then looking out. That's all the workout is. That's, that, that's a variation called the skull crushes. If you go light enough, right, you could just slow the movement down a lot and just concentrate on that contraction. Now, if you've had access to an easy bar, right, you'd be doing the exact same thing, right, behind your back. And this is the only movement I really do with putting my thumb actually where my fingers are, right, and doing that. Because I feel like there's not really much room for it to slip off too much, but you could do it with a flat barbell. But I just find these grooves here help me. It helps the grip, and it feels a bit more comfortable in my hands, right? If you had no other option, then a barbell is better than nothing. If you wanted to switch it up a little bit, and maybe you didn't have access to dumbbells, but you had access to a barbell. So the third exercise which is really, really good in regards to dumbbells, right? To do at home, it's really just a close grip press. Now, what you want to do. You gotta adjust the bench. Flat bench works well for this exercise. Now, it's similar to a chest press, right? So, a chest press, you'd, you'd be like this, all right? You know, you'd be doing a chest press. That's a chest press. And that still works triceps too. So, when you're training chest, your triceps are being worked because, you know, most of the time, it, most of the chest exercises, you know, are working the tricep anyway. It's not isolating them a lot more, but it's common for people to train triceps and shoulders together since, you know, they, they kind of work hand in hand and it just makes sense. With this exercise, what you have to really know is with any tricep workout, right? Say like a push-up, we all know, we're all familiar with like a push-up, right? So a push-up works your chest. But what you need to know is that there's different variation to the push-ups too. So the wider your hands are, you know, the more chest is involved in the movement. For triceps, diamond push-ups, you know, work it, which is like a push-up position, and you put your hands in front of you like a diamond. So applying that knowledge to this exercise, right, what you're doing is keeping the dumbbells close together, and then you go down and up. Essentially, those are the three top 
tricep workouts at home that you can do with dumbbells. That's it from me guys. Look, I just hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hope it was informative. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully it's helped you out. For now, stay safe, take care. See you soon.